Here we go, boys. The postseason. This is the big one. After a historic year setting NHL records. Crazy. He says the Red Wings in 96 lost in the conference finals. The Lightning in 19 swept in the first round. Leafs in 23. X Tech Jinx? No, no, no. Not this time. I'm looking to go all the way and bring a Stanley Cup to the great city of Toronto because we had ourselves quite a year. Now, I know the 96 Red wings and the 19 lightning those guys you know their regular season was great but they don't have what we have baby we got it all we got austin matthews we got guys like clem coston on the third line playing like a second liner we got nico he we have the perfect team to go deep in the postseason we're big we're skilled we're fast we're strong we have great goaltending a great one-two punch with grubauer and Najelkovic. but just like crazy in the comments we got Got some negativity with you guys. Hawks fan, I predict Toronto gets swept in round one. Get out of here. Bardownski snipes. He says, incoming EA Sports first round exit because it's in the game. Well, I can't argue with that logic. Let's get rid of that EA Sports X Tech jinx. Here we go, the playoffs. Now, before we get into it, I wouldn't usually do this, but Don Cherry, I have to do it. He says, X Tech, please check Dylan Strom's stats. Interested to see how he did after his 102 assist season. Love the series. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. And of course, Don Cherry, I got you, buddy. Let's go ahead and check out the Chicago Blackhawks before. We check out the Ottawa Senators with the Battle of Ontario. So here's their top six. Very, very nice. Dylan Strom had 102 assists and 125 points a couple years ago, and he really fell. I mean, 69 and 71 points is still pretty decent, but maybe that's like a Jonathan Chichu kind of fluke year. I don't know if he ever gets close to that ever again, but I mean, everything kind of just went right there. Maybe they were playing him with Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taze, and now Alex Nylander is ready to make the jump. I don't know, but that's how Dylan Strom did. There you go, Don Cherry. Now, I have announced the new franchise mode. If you haven't seen it, I'm going to tease it right here. <laughs> That's right, baby. We are going to Quebec, and I can't wait. So let's wrap this bad boy up with a Stanley Cup, and then let's move over to Quebec. It's not that far of a drive, so all the assistant GMs are not going to have that far to travel. But let's have a look at the Ottawa Senators in year number four. Clint Tucker. All right, so this is that super rookie. Uh, I guess he's not a rookie anymore. Third year in the NHL. Pretty much good for almost 30 goals a year. He's a sniper, that's for sure. Clint Tucker, Colin White and Vitaly Abramov, or Abramov, Abramov, whatever you want to call him. He's the Vancouver Canucks GM mode legend. Uh, he's a depth forward playing on the first line. So I'm not super impressed with this team. Alex Formanton, Logan Brown, Brady Kachuk, their right wingers are really, really weak. Former Toronto Maple Leaf, Connor Brown on the third line right wing, Drake Batherson, Kevin LeBlanc, we got Paul Byron, Anton Lundell, and then Bobby Ryan. After that, that seven million dollar a year contract he re-ups they re-signed him for 4.3 why would you re-sign him for over $4 million? Was he actually putting up numbers? Or I guess he was actually 60 points, I guess. But that's a lot to pay. Bobby Ryan is just milking Ottawa for every single penny they got. Defensively, all right, here's where it's pretty strong. Thomas Shabbat and Tori Krug. Josh Mohora, Eric Brandstrom, Victor Hadfield, and Oliver Turan. So their bottom four isn't great. Brandstrom and Mohora can probably get the job done. But Shabbat and Krug, that's a nasty nasty one-two punch and they have Philip Gustafson and Jonas Corposalo so they're not great I mean they're in the playoffs for a reason obviously but on paper they don't look that fantastic but it is the playoffs wipe the regular season away I mean not our regular season though 135 points how are you keep the change obviously we're gonna be having home ice advantage for the entire postseason because we did have such an extraordinary regular season but we can't be talking about our 66 wins 135 points I can flex that all I want but when it comes down to it we have to show up in the postseason and it starts tonight on home ice the battle of Ontario
Ontario game number one of the most important playoff run in Toronto Maple Leafs history. That's right, I said it. Let's go, let's have a strong 20, set the momentum in front of our home fans, period, number one, and it's 1-1. All right, Landis Gog, there you go, and then Brady Kachuk scores for them. We're doubling them in shots, but we still we're doubling them in shots, but Philip Gustafson is playing pretty damn good. Hopefully we can beat him more in the second. All right, still a very tight game. We end up trading power play goals. One for Landis Gog, that's his second of the night, that handsome Swede. And then the third line or left winger, Kevin LeBlanc, he gets one as well on the power play. Again, we're out shooting him like crazy. Power play, power play, Landy for the hat trick one time. Okay. Unfortunately, we didn't capitalize on the power play, closing in on 40 shots on Philip Gustafson. He's playing like a man possessed right now, and William Nylander will nigh the hockey guy on the 40th shot. But Kevin LeBlanc playing like he did in San Jose with a power play goal, but William Nylander with a power play goal, and that is going to end the hockey game. Kevin LeBlanc scored two power play goals, but with a minute and 20 left, will nigh the hockey guy gets his second of the period kind of a dramatic one but we get out of game number one with a one nothing lead that one was pretty fun not gonna lie to you Kevin LeBlanc scoring like he did in San Jose I mean that was just the craziest game I think he had five points and five points in the third period within like five minutes or something that was the craziest hockey game ever the Vegas and San Jose game but here we are back again on home ice no more talk of Kevin LeBlanc let's blow these guys guys out of the water. Let's destroy their confidence. They came close there, but William Nylander bailed us out big time. Let's have a big game number two. Period number one, and it's 0 0. Different story this time. They're out shooting us 13 to 7. Let's see if we can have a strong 20 here in the second. There you go, baby. Mitch Marner and Jesper Fast. That's what I'm talking about. Again, it is a different story this time. We are being outshot, but we do have the 2 0 lead. Philip Grubauer playing like a god, and Austin Matthews. Speak about, talk about a god. Power play goal. There you go. Right above the face off dot. He takes it. Boom. Home bar down, three nothing on Philip Gustafson. I don't say it. Don't say it yet. Don't even think about the war that starts with S. Okay, you can say it now. Shut out, baby. Shut out for Philip Grubauer. 3 0. And we are headed all the way to Ottawa. But Jordan Schmaltz, a mild concussion. All right, let me see here. April 18th. So he's done for a little while. Let's see who we can call up here. Uh, that sucks. That definitely sucks. But. It's okay, we should have someone else we could call up from the American Hockey League. Let me take care of this. Uh, Rasmus Sandin's getting the call up. Welcome to the show, kid. He played in the postseason last year as well, so he's getting some more playoff experience. We're going to chuck him on the bottom pairing, obviously with Derek Forbort. So all of his initial experience has come from the postseason, which is kind of crazy. Chucking him to the Wolves, uh, but there you go. Rasmus Sandin, welcome to the NHL. Plus that gives them a plus three which is pretty nice. Our AHL team is uh, looking rough, but looks like he's not going to be out for too long. Maximum two games. Said he'll be out until the 18th, um, but he might come back early after this game. But let's go. We have a 2-0 lead going back to the nation's capital, Ottawa, Canada, the Battle of Ontario. They're going to be playing for their lives tonight, so let's, uh, let's crush them early here. Let's have a really strong first period. Period numero uno, and it's 3-0 for for Ottawa. I knew they were going to be coming out strong. Only six shots in the first period, boys. Not good enough. Kevin LeBlanc, who's been a beast. Tucker and then Formington. That Tucker guy, watch out for him. Kind of reminds me of like a Brock Besser. Like Almost the 30 goal seasons, 50-ish points. He's a sniper. Watch out for him. Period number two. Let's turn this thing around. All right, 4-1, Morgan Riley and Tory Krug. How's it going on the power play? Not a great showing, though. Only 16 shots through two and a half periods almost. That's not good enough. It looks like Ottawa, they're playing for their lives, and it definitely shows they do not want to go down 3-0. That sucks. Looks like we are going to drop game number three here. Colin White makes it 5-1. to one. Philip Gubauer gets lit up in the first period, and our offense dried up in the second. Unfortunately, we could not get anything going. 
Uh, hopefully Schmaltz is going to come back for this game. There you go. Jordan Schmaltz is back. Let's go ahead and throw him in there. All right, game number four. We had a really good game one and game two. Game three was a little bit shaky. You know the fans in Ottawa, they're, uh, well... I don't really know what to say about the fans in Ottawa, but they're showing up for the postseason game. Maybe not in the regular season in the current day NHL, but they're showing up now. They're loud. They want their team to get back into the series, and I want the exact opposite. Let's go up 3-1 to one here. It kind of seems the key to this series is get on them early, get a 2-1, 3-1 lead, and they can't really come back from that. So let's start strong in the first 20 here, and let's set the tone. God, I kind of sound like Mike Babcock, but let's go, boys. Period number one. And it's 0-0. Zero, zero. All right. Still, again, only six shots in the first. That's not good enough. Let's fire some more pucks here. Come on, Matthews. You should have six in the first just on your own. It's time for Marner. It's time for Nico Heischer. It's time for Jesper Bratt. Maybe a little bit of Klim Costin action there on the third line. Let's go. Period number two. All right. 1-1. One, one. Will Nye, the hockey guy. He's been killing it for us. That's his third goal of the postseason. Tucker gets one. It's a 1-1 one, one game. We're being outshot. I'm actually pretty surprised. Ottawa's been a tough opponent here. We have a large power play. That was a major. He didn't capitalize on the four, maybe even the five. Oh, my God. And Paul Byron, fourth liner. A fourth liner, ladies and gentlemen. You're going to let them climb back into the series? Come on, give me a goal here. Give me a goal, not by Hadfeld. And the Ottawa Senators climb back into the series, tying it up at two. All right, I see you, Ottawa. I see you. Our offense is kind of dried up here. I'm not going to change the lines. I know we're going to be a successful team. I know we can beat these guys. I know we can beat these guys handsomely. We should be kicking ass right now. I'm not going to touch the lines. I trust the guys, but I need some depth scoring here. I need a goal from Zach Cassie, and I need a goal from Andreas Mango Janssen, who's been a pretty good playoff performer here. Let's go, boys. Period. Number one, and it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay. There you go. Now we have the advantage in shots in front of our home fans. Let's have a good second period. Set the tone for the third and just hold it down. Come on, boys. Two to one for Ottawa. Formanton and Bobby Ryan. Are you kidding me? All right. I said I need a goal from Andreas Mango Janssen. He comes through with a big one. Come on, guys. You cannot let them go up 3-1 here. No, no, no. We need a goal. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, Nico Heischer. How's it going, baby? That's what I'm talking about. Nico Heischer scores on Philip Gustafson, making it a 2-2 hockey game. And Austin Matthews, I called him out publicly. But Drake Batherson scores on the power play. Are you kidding me? Are we going into overtime here? Oh, my God. We're headed into OT. Overtime in the six, Matthews, Landeskog, Marner. Make me proud. Let's go. Here comes Landy, cutting in wide, using the power move, and he gives the puck away to Thomas Shabbat. All right. Timothy Liljegren wearing Jake Muzzin's old number eight. Yes, for Brat in the slot. He had a bit more time. I wish he maybe would have held on to it and uh, maybe would have made the goal we think of it, but shot it right away. Alex Formanton, oh my god, what a stop by Philip Grubauer. I thought that was it. I thought that cross crease was going in. What a blocker save. Oh my god. Play for your goalie here. Come on, Barry. Shoot that. He scores. Tyson Barry. What a shot. After an unbelievable save by Philip Grubauer, Tyson Barry puts this one to bed, and we now have the series lead. Oh my god. That was stressful. Honestly, though, what a save by Philip Grubauer. I got to go in and watch this. It's not even about the goal. It's all about the save. A game saver. Brandstrom to, I think that's Alex Formanton, over to Brady Kachuk. The net is wide open. And, oh, what a stop. Things you love to see, ladies and gentlemen. What a save. Oh, you're going to be seeing that on highlight reels for the next 10 years. Game saver. Puck goes up the ice. Tyson Berry ices it. What a game for the defensemen, Branstrom, Riley, and Tyson Berry. There you go. I'm happy about that one. We are definitely in the driver's seat right now. This has been a stressful first round. I didn't think they were going to give us this much damn trouble, but the Ottawa Senators, props to them. They've been playing great. But I'm about to end it here in Ottawa in front of their home fans. I don't care. Ruthless. Let's go. we got to build off that huge overtime win. Game number six. Let's put this thing to bed and move on to round number two, and then we'll see who's in our path of Lord Stanley. Period. Number one. They're on the power play, but it doesn't matter. I thought he did 
score there, but Kevin LeBlanc did not. He gets the goal a little after the power play. Clem Costin and Nico Heischer, big acquisitions, scoring goals, doing cool guy stuff. You love to see it. 16 seconds left, and he gets the goal. That's a big momentum builder going into the second, and we make it 3-1. Mitchie Marnes, that is exactly what I'm talking about. That's how you beat teams like this. You get up on them early, and you shut it down because Philip Grubauer is the GOAT, making big saves in overtime, making big saves in the third period, just playing like a beast as per usual. That's how you got to do it. Get on these guys early and just shut it down defensively, and that's going to be our key to success. Thanks for coming, Ottawa. That was a fun series. Game 5 was definitely exciting, but we are off to bigger and much better things in round 2. Thanks for playing. There'll be a goodie bag for you at the door. Thank you for participating. Off to round number 2. Who do we got? Please be Philly. Just let us beat the hell out of the Philadelphia Flyers. No, it's the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right. Okay, so Philly's playing New Jersey in the second round, and we have Tampa. Now, Tampa got rid of whoever they played in only five games. All right, William Nylander leading the way with six points. Love to see it. So Tampa beat Florida in the Battle of Florida. They beat them in five games. We obviously got rid of uh, Ottawa in six. And then New Jersey got rid of Washington in seven. Philly made easy work of Carolina in five. We all know we're going to meet up with Philly in the Eastern Conference Final for the third year in a row. We all know it. Let's just stop delaying the inevitable. Let's get rid of Tampa. Let's have a look at their roster. I know they're going to be pretty sick in year number four. Uh, Stamco should still be pretty much one of the best players in the league. Kucherov as well. So Palat, 84. Stamkos, 91. Kucherov, 94. Jesus. Briani Gord, Braden Point, Alex Killorn. So their team really hasn't changed a whole lot, to be honest with you. Like from the real NHL, I can only see like Taylor Radish and Kachuk, who are actually draft picks of the Tampa Bay Lightning. So they've drafted them and they've uh, brought them up to the NHL. Looks like Mark Jankowski and Zach Smith are the only two new additions on their forward core. Anthony Sorelli, Saskatchewan Stag legend, might I add. It's kind of cool that they've kept their core intact, especially under the cap. That's pretty impressive. Impressive. Defensively, it doesn't look a whole lot different either. Braden McNabb and this Kolzig guy are the only two new additions. Uh, Kolzig, he looks pretty sick. He's a ooh, top three pick in 2022. Christoph Kolzig. Now, we haven't paid as much attention to the draft as I usually would, so um, there's why I don't. That's why I don't really know who he is, but he looks nasty. Christoph Kolzig, what a name. McDonough, Foot, Hedman, Sergachev, nasty, and then obviously Vasilevsky and Malcolm Subban between the pipes. We're really going to have to get our act together here if we're going to play up against Tampa, a team that is the polar opposite of the Ottawa Senators, a team that can score goals like crazy. We have to match that here. we got to play for our goalie. I'm a little bit nervous about their firepower, but we got Austin Matthews back-to-back 50-goal -back years. Mitch Marner, I'm feeling good. Let's go. Nico Heischer, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Scores under a minute in on the first shot. That's how you start off round number two, period number one. And they tie it up. Steven Stamko. So the big centers are coming out here. Shots are nine apiece. Period number two. Okay. 3-2. Kucherov gets two. But Will Nye, the hockey guy, gets one. Again, the shots are pretty even. You could see a very back and forth, back and forth series here. Jeremy Brocco on the fourth line gets his first career postseason National Hockey League goal, tying the thing up at three apiece. We're starting to pull away on the shots, which is a good thing here. Give me a Morgan Riley goal. Give me a Derek Forbort goal. Give me something here. I don't want to go to overtime. Power play for them. Oh my god, I thought they were going to score there. I'm not going to intervene here because if we intervene every single overtime, this video is going to be three hours long. Shots are pretty even and Nico Heischer gets his second of the night. Oh man, what an acquisition Nico Heischer has been. Thanks for coming out. Timothy Liljegren. No. June 12th. He's toast. A separated shoulder. He's done for the playoffs, boys. Oh boy. All right, Rasmus Sandin. Are you ready? You ready to come up and play some big minutes? Oh God, I'm nervous about this. So we're going to play Travis Dermott with Morgan Riley, Tyson Berry with Jordan Schmaltz, and Rasmus Sandin with Derek Forbort. What if I did this? No, it's still good with the plus three there. So 
Yeah, that's a yikes. Losing our, I mean, one of our best defensemen, he's done for the entire postseason here. That sucks. A separated shoulder? Oh, my God. All right, Nico Heischer, leading the team in points, having a huge game in game number one, scoring the first goal and scoring the last goal. But that sucks to lose Timothy Liljegren. That is literally like, uh, oh, Aside from losing a handful of players, that's worst case scenario there. All right, we're a little bit battered. We're a little bit bruised. We're not getting him back for the postseason. And Andre Palat scores on the first shot of the night. The left side, that should, oh my God. There you go, Andre Johnson comes right back. But I was going to say the left side where, um, where Timothy Lilligren usually would be is where he scored there. But Andres Johnson ties it up. Let's get out of the first period with the lead. And we don't do that. Braden Point gets one more to make it a 2-1 game. We do have the lead in shots. But um, looking to have a strong 20 here. All right, still a one-shot game. This could be anyone's game here. Going into the third. Come on, boys. Tied up. Tied up. Austin Matthews be a great time to get your first of the series. Mitch Marner. Gabriel Landeskog, maybe. Clem Costin. Morgan Riley. Anybody? Yes, for fast. Okay, fourth liner. I'll take it. Shots are even. I said this is going to be a very back and forth series, and I think I'm right here. The second overtime game in a row. Oh boy, oh boy is right. Come on, who's getting it? Who's scoring? Power play for them. You cannot give Tampa a power play in overtime. Two power plays in overtime. Clem Costin dumping pucks, killing penalties. What a cool guy. Doing all the cool guy penalty kill stuff. And Austin Matthews. Oh my god, this is a stressful series. Back to back overtime. Nico Heischer and Austin Matthews doing big things. Game number three. We're flying all the way to Tampa Bay. It's a little bit of a longer flight than uh, what it would be from Ottawa. And for the third game in a row, the first shot goes in. Nico Heischer scored on the first shot in game one. Andre Palat scored on the first shot in game two. And Nico Heischer gets another one in game number three. Okay. Okay, uh, well, it's kind of weird. I think that's got to be the first time in NHL history that that's happened, especially in the playoffs. Let's go, period number one, and it's 2-2. All right, really opened up there. Stamkos and Point, Jesper Bratt, Nico Heischer. There's that New Jersey tandem. Thank you, John Tavares. Period number two. Okay, 6-3. Not how we planned this at all. Yanni Gord, Stammer, Hedman, and Palat. William Nylander gets the only goal of the second, and we completely fall apart in period number two. That is a yikes. But it's not over yet. We can get one right now on the power play. I need my big guns a little bit more here. I'm going to need Landis Scott, going to need Marner. This whole, this whole one goal in the playoffs thing isn't really going to work out for me. Unfortunately, we are going to drop game number three after having the first two games be so exciting. But I said it's going to be a very tight series, and I've been pretty bang on ever since I said that. All right, good to go for game number four. Here we go. We need to win in their home barn if we're going to win this series. Let's go, guys. Have a strong 20. Set the tone just like we did in Ottawa. No more overtimes. Let's get the thing done. This is the first time that the first shot hasn't gone in. Period number one. It's 1-1. One, one. Nico Heischer, who's been on fire lately. He's picking up for the lack of goal scoring from our first line. That's for sure. Palat gets another one. Who Another guy who's been on fire. Period number two. Let's kind to move away from these guys let's get like a 3-1 lead okay not exactly not like literally the exact opposite of what i just said andre palat and taylor radish okay come on boys still very early lots of hockey left and will nye the hockey guy he scores on andre vasileski but mark jankowski short-handed fourth liner but clint costin third liner comes right back back in fourth series Come on, guys. Come on. The next goal is going to be a huge one. We need it, and it's cow foot. Not what I'm talking about. All right. So we win two games in Toronto, and we lose two games in Tampa. They get another one just for good measure. Sergachev on the back end, getting the empty netter. We're going back to Toronto all tied up.
This playoff so far has been an absolute grind. Back-to-back 6-3 losses after winning back-to-back games in overtime. So who knows what's going to happen here. Could be a 10-1 shellacking. I have no idea what's in store for us here. Come on, guys. We need to win this one here. Austin Matthews, Landy, Mitch Marner, Gabriel Landeskog. I need you here. I can't rely on Nico Heischer forever. However, I wouldn't mind a couple more goals in the first, Nico. Let's see. Let's go. Period number one. Well, nothing, Yanni freaking Gord. Okay, period number two. Can we get on the score sheet? Three nothing. Tyler Johnson and Steven Stamkos. Give me a break. Come on, guys. Let's get into it right now. Let's get one on the score sheet right now. Zach Cassie. Fourth liner. Somebody. Things you hate to see. I just pressed A there. I was frustrated. <laughs> Nico Escher got the only goal in the third period. Um, that, that sucks, guys. This is not good. I don't know what to do. Do we change up the first line? Like, what the hell do we do with this team? Like, I've been a little bit disappointed from the first line. I know they've scored a little bit, but... I mean, Landy's got two, Marner has two. Like, I don't want to split them up because they've been so damn good. Like, our second line has been our best line. I don't know what to do here. I mean, losing out on Timothy Liliagrin really, really sucks. But let's go. Our backs are up against the wall. Nowhere to go but up. Let's go. I believe in the boys. Come on, Toronto. 66 wins in the regular season. I'm not going to let you forget it. Game number six. Do or die. Period. Number one. Zero, zero. Okay, we're out shooting them like crazy. We gotta beat Vasilevsky here. Period number two. Okay, Alex Killorn gets one for them. Going into period number three. 16 minutes left. We're out shooting them. Insane and Austin Matthews. Thank God. There he is. Five on three. You gotta shoot the net. You gotta score. Yes, for Brad on the power play. You gotta shoot the net. What am I talking about? I don't care. Get pucks on net. Do something. Score goals. Yes, for Brad does just that. A power play goal, but Kucherov with two minutes left. Okay, everyone breathe, everyone breathe. Going into overtime, power play for them. No, 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 not like this. We're all closing in on 50 shots. We're two and zero in overtime in the postseason. Can we make it three? Come on, baby, score on shot number 50. There it is, 51, maybe? There it is, who is it? Clem Costin, let's go. The third line center, oh my God. On our 52nd shot. Oh boy, we're going all the way. I'm ready. We're buzzing. Let's go. Yes, per Brad has been injured. I was going to say, let's just hop into game number seven, but now i got to make a bunch of line changes. May 10th. Oh, man. Oh, God. Why, why, why? All right, let me call someone up here. This is a yikes, boys. What have I done wrong in Toronto? All right, Freddie Gauthier, welcome back. The playoff GOAT, if you remember him. He once had a game where he scored four or five goals, and then he also broke his jaw. So, legend. That was an insane overtime game, but unfortunately it came at the cost of losing Jesper Bratt, who's been one of our better players in the postseason. If not, I mean, besides Nico Heischer, he might have been our best. But here we go, boys. Game number seven. Times eight, putting the controller down, letting the hockey gods do their work, and Freddie Gauthier, why is he on the power play? I'm not asking questions. Austin Matthews on the power play. Freddie Gauthier, man, what a guy. Sits on the bench the entire year, eats hot dogs in the press box, and comes in, scores a power play goal in his first playoff game. Uh, so, incoming, a broken jaw. Victor Hedman also scores on the power play, but Clem Costin makes it 3 to 1. Three goals on 12 shots. Let's keep it up, boys. Pedal to the metal here. Do not let your foot off the gas. Let's keep on with the shots. We haven't got a shot in like 10 minutes, but it doesn't matter because Travis Dermott, I seriously thought we were toast. I mean, there's a lot of hockey left. Probably shouldn't throw out the X-Tech jinx, but we have a pretty safe lead here. I was really concerned we were toast. I don't know what I was going to do with the series. Dmitry Timoshov, there you go. Ryan McDonough gets one. 
Oh my god, what an emotional game. Travis Dermott once again. No Liljegren, don't matter. 30 shots, 6 goals on Andre Vasilevsky. Steven Stamkos makes it 6-3. Please no X-Tech jinx, I can't handle this. Please god no. Freddy Gauthier sets the tone and he gets the job done. Game number 1, he scores a big goal in the first period. We are off to the Eastern Conference Finals. But Rasmus Sandin has been injured. Injure everyone. So I'm seeing a bit of a problem here. I don't have any defensemen to call up. Uh, what the hell do I do in this specific situation? Let me see. I can't go to free agency. I should have done a better job of of uh, working with our AHL team. But I've been so worried about the. I've been so worried about the. Uh, been so worried about winning a Stanley Cup, I just haven't haven't done it. Um, but Kyle Olsen, he's not going to play there. We're going to see if I can sign someone in the system. Okay, so I have to sign this guy. This guy's our best defenseman. Oh, my God. Okay, so Burmistrov, uh, will he sign right away, or do I have to wait a couple days? Okay, so he's good to go. So Nikolai Burmistrov, he was... A uh, pick. Uh, we drafted him in the second round. He, I don't know where he played last year. I don't know anything about this kid. He played in Russia, so played in the KHL. Now he's going to come play in the Eastern Conference Final for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Oh boy. I hope I can call him up. I hope there's not some weird rule with that, but let's see. I might have to skip a day, uh, but let's see if I can call him up. Okay, there he is. I can call him up. Thank God. Okay, there's a way around this. I'm a bad GM. I should feel bad. What a time to be alive. Nikolai Burmistrov, welcome to the show, kid. Six foot three defenseman out of the Continental Hockey League. Now, who do we have in round number three? Please be Philly. I need it to be Philly. Yes, but Brat's available. Hell yeah. Let's go. Who is it? Who's it going to be? <laughs> it's Phila freaking Delphia. Now, we have something to work on here. I can't believe it's Philly. I can't believe this is like, oh boy. Okay, here we go. What's, I'm thinking about scratching Zach Cassian, to be honest with you. The guy's done basically nothing in the postseason. I'm going to scratch him. I'm going to put in Jesper Bratt, obviously. We're gonna put him there. We're gonna leave Freddie Gauthier as the fourth line left winger. He scored a goal, I'm not gonna mess with it. We're 2-0 since he's been in the lineup. I'm gonna leave it at that. And we have the Philadelphia Flyers. Just as every one expected the third year in a row that we've played Philly in the Eastern Conference Final. This is not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is real life. This is actually happening. The Philadelphia Flyers. Okay, let's go. We're very familiar with their team. I'm just looking to see if there's anyone new. Maybe Kelly Yarncrow might be new. Um, look at their center depth. My God. Uh, Tyler Bozak, he's won a Stanley Cup with the St. Louis Blues. He knows what it takes. Tom Conhackle, oh boy. I know that's not how you pronounce it, but if you've been around the channel for a long time, you'll know he was, I think he played with Pittsburgh in one of our franchise modes. He ate us alive in the postseason. These storylines, man, they're writing themselves. Defensively, they're pretty weak, actually. Is that Brandon Sutter as a defenseman? Well, you guys don't got a defenseman to call up? Pfft, some GM you are. I would have had a guy ready to go. Uh, yikes. Apparently, Brandon Sutter is playing D. Oh, God. So they have three injuries. Kevin Hayes, uh, Jake Wallman, and Steven John. So two of their top six defensemen are out. So they're hurting big time. Uh, so I don't think I don't think Niskanen or Brandon Sutter are regulars in this lineup. And we know who's between the pipes. The Spittin' Chicklets legend, although he hasn't appeared, but it's the way R.A. always pronounces it. Kata Hat. Carter Hart. There he is. Uh, you guys who don't listen to Spittin' Chicklets are like, what is this guy talking about? Kata Hat, uh, he is 88 overall, backed up by Scott Darling with a fantastic beard. They have Brandon Sutter on defense. That's all I'm going to say. Let's go, boys. We are battered. We are bruised. We got Jesper Bratt back in the lineup. Thank God. 
going up round number three a rivalry doesn't get much better than this philly versus toronto for the third straight year third straight year in the eastern conference final let's start this thing off right boys period number one and it's one one all right jeremy freaking brocco baby and marco scandella all right so we got a goal from our fourth line how about a goal from our first line in the second period or five unanswered Holy shit. Okay, Couturier gets two. Ghost gets one. Konechny gets one. What the hell happened in the second period? Six goals on 17 shots. Grubauer. Buddy. Buddy. Oh my god. Tom Kuhnhackle, of course. Because of course. Philly is shit-kicking us right now. Austin Matthews, thanks for showing up. That is a 7-2 to two shellacking in game number one we just got destroyed holy shit all right they embarrassed us in front of our home fans we cannot let that happen in back-to-back -back games landy matthews especially mitch marner where the hell are you lost mitch marner please call if found score a goal do something big guy period number one and it's two nothing schmaltz and landeskog schmaltz the absolute sniper scores a huge goal landy that's what i'm talking about baby very handsome swede period number two can we hold the lead five to one take that mitch marner with a big goal call him out publicly he scores will nye continues his great play sean couture and then klim costin my favorite guy on the third line Sorry, Mango Man, but Costin is the man. Five goals on 20 shots. Nolan Patrick gets one. Third line center, making it 5-2. to two. I know it seems like we have a pretty big lead, but this Philadelphia team, they are freaking annoying. 5-3. to three. All right, come on. I love another insurance marker, making it 6-3. to three. It's not that I don't trust Philip Grubauer, but there you go. Yes, for fast. Scores on Kata Hat. And we bounce back with a huge game. 6-3 to three W. Please to God, no injuries. No injuries, no injuries, no injuries. Okay, thank God. I wonder how they're doing with Brandon Sutter on the back end. Rasmus Sandin has returned to the lineup. All right, we can get uh, that Burmistrov guy out of there. Poor guy, just throw him right to the wolves. All right, so our defense is slowly getting back to what it used to be. I would really, really like to get Timothy Lilligren back in the mix but we're here in philly the fans oh don't get me started about the fans in philly the broad street bullies those fans are not kind to the opposing team let's get out of philly with two wins let's go back to toronto they're on the power play to start things off let's go boys set the tone in the first not what i'm talking about sean couturier scores a power play goal period number one okay two one landy gets one and claude Giroux and couturier so landy's been producing where the hell's everyone Everyone else. Also, Nico Heischer has been mighty quiet the past five or six games. Period number two. Let's get the lead going into the third. Or not. Or not. It's okay though. There's lots of hockey left. 20 minutes, in fact. Come on, boys. Come on, if they go up 3-1, this thing's over. But we could tie it up. Power play. Mitch Marr on power play. Morgan Riley. Derek Forbort. Someone. Rasmus Sandin, maybe. Oh, there you go. The Mango Man. Andreas Janssen scores a big goal on the 30th shot of the game. Are we headed into overtime? Yes, we are. Last time we slow simmed a game in overtime, Tyson Berry iced it with a great goal from the point. Let's see if we're going to have the same fate here. Over to Mitchie Marnes, and Marner straight up gives it away to Provorov in the slot. You had all the time in the world. Why are you panicking? Matthews, what are you doing? Nylander, are you joking me? You've got to, you've got to be kidding. This has got to be a joke. This, is ha this has to be a joke. Okay, all right. Where, what? What the hell are you doing? What on God's green are, look at this. You know you're going this way, right? You're going this way Nylander not only do you have two options here you could go straight bean line you have a pure break to the net Provorov might get you or you know you could pass it to I don't know number 63 Jesper freaking brat who's going to be on a clear breakaway but no you genius you decide to pass it back to Austin Matthews, which basically gives it to Sean Couturier, or whoever the hell that is, number 25, JVR. Is that JVR? 
I don't know. He freaking goes five hole and then shot gets. That is a joke, man. An absolute joke. I can't believe the AI is so stupid. You could have had a two on O. Nylander, you're benched. Holy shit, I'm gonna lose my mind. What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Oh, I'm fired up now. Here we go, going into game number four. We are down two to one. We should be up two to one. However, I don't know what the hell William Nylander is smoking, but here we go. That was a game that we very easily could have won. It was a one-shot game, and all it took was one screw up from William Nylander, but I'm not pinpointing anyone right now. Period number one, good teams can bounce back from shitty situations. This is going to defy us right now, boys. Period number one. And Morgan Frost and Konechny both score power play goals. Period number two. Okay, we tie it up. William Nylander. All right, fine. And then Austin Matthews on the power play. Going in to the third period, Nolan Patrick scores on the first shot of the third. Not how I expected this thing to go. Here we go, there's lots of hockey left. Shots are pretty even, both over 30 apiece. Come on, boys, you cannot go down 3-1 to the Flyers. You just can't do it. You cannot do it. No, not in this house. Force overtime, I don't care what you do. Nylander, Matthews, Marner, someone. We are facing elimination in the Eastern Conference Final. Uh, again, Like I feel like I've been here 15 times. Oh, God, this is extremely frustrating. Moving on to game number five. I need Herb Brooks to make an insane speech right now. I need something. I need to call, like, Scotty Bowman. I need to call Brian Burke. Get these guys fired up. Come on. In front of your home fans, down 3-1. to one. You cannot lose the Flyers three years in a row. No way, no how. Period. Number. You know what? This is an important game. We're going times eight the entire time. Controller down, letting the hockey gods, the simulation gods do their work. I still can't believe we blew it in overtime. All right, you got to get over it. It's way bigger fish to fry right now. Come on, boys. Power plays. We exchange a couple. No goals to show for it. 11 to 8 are the shots. Come on, guys. All right, we get out of the first 0-0. Zero, zero. That's fine. Shots are dead even. I'm cool with that. Moving on into the second. Into the second period. Oh, boy. Still 0-0. Zero, zero. It's a defensive battle. They have Brendan Sutter on defense, by the way. Mitch Marner, I'd love for you to score a goal. You're kind of becoming the whipping boy right now. We're kind of stepped away in shots over 24. There you go, Morgan Riley, the captain, the freaking captain. Oh boy, there you go. Morgan Riley scores, but Sean Couturier, who's been an absolute beast the entire series, beats Philip Grubauer. 29 to 19 are the shots. We're well over 30 here. Are we going into overtime once again? Oh boy, 37 to 20 are the shots. We should win this hockey game. We're closing in on 40. Another overtime game? Holy shit. Oh boy, everyone take a breath. Let's win this game. We got a big mountain to climb one step at a time. Let's go, boys. Come on. Morgan Riley, he's got a goal in the game. He stops up, finds Landeskog. Oh man, just find a lane, shoot the puck, do something. I don't care. Pucks on net. Good things will happen. Marner. All right. Gets blocked by Provorov. Here comes Landy. The most handsome Swede in the world. Over to Matthews. He's down low. Over to Dermott. He cycles it back and loses the puck. But Mitch Marner comes up with it. Mitch Marner. Do something, buddy. Over to Austin Matthews. Who's got time. And he just floats it to the net. And Carter Hart with the easy glove save. All right, Will Nye, the hockey guy. Let's go. You've been hot and cold the playoffs, and he loses the puck. Morale's down right now, boys. We need a big hit. We need a fight. We need something. We need a big save. Oh, my God. Talk about a big hit. Sit down. Clem Costin. If anyone can do it, it's the big kid from Russia. There you go. He finds Tyson Berry. Oh, Carter Hart flashes the leather. What a save. Landy to Morgan Riley. Riley over to Matthews. Matthews, oh, Marner, how is that? That's a goal, that's a goal, ref. That's a goal, right? That's a damn goal, <laughs> Mitch Marner, the ugliest goal he's ever gonna score. Comes in overtime and the Maple Leafs have life. We have some, a flicker, a tiny amount of life. 
I'm not even going to watch that goal. That was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Almost 50 shots, and that was the one that goes in. I... I don't have any answers right now. I'm going to go right into it. Hopefully no injuries. Hopefully no injuries. I just want to sim the next game because I know I'm going to get comments. People saying, oh, you only won because of the power of video editing, a.k.a. don't be an Eric. All right, let's go. Game number six. We have life on the ugliest goal. I don't even know if Mitch Marner scored that goal or not, but we have life. We're in Philly. It's a rough arena to play in, but you've won there before. You can do it again. Let's go, period. Number one and it's two to one Nico Heischer gets both things you love to see Kevin Hayes scores for them but Nico Heischer comes right back with two of his own less than a minute apart by the way how are you he's got Carter Hart's number looking for a hat trick is he gonna get it in period number two okay five to two Freddy the freaking goat Gautier and then both of our bottom pairing defensemen score yeah I did not think that was gonna happen and can hackle all right the the, uh, the guy. I don't even know what to call him. He's the guy. There you go. He scores for them, but we scored three unanswered in the second, but Andreas Janssen gets it started in the third with a big goal, making it 6-2. to two. We should have this one in the bag, and yes, we are forcing game number seven. Tyler Bozak, he gets one, but it's too little too late. No way we allow three goals in a minute. No way, no how. There you go. Now, what I'm going to do, I have to take a water break. I'm going to drink water right now. I'm not going to stop the simulation. I'm not going to pause, so uh, there's going to be no Eric's in the comments saying, oh, you, you did the power of video editing, so we're going to keep it going. I'm going to take a drink of water. All right, water has been now drunk, and we are good to go. Game number seven, no cuts here, no Eric's here, no Eric's allowed. Game number seven, you've won the last two games. Just go out there, do your thing. You know you can beat these guys. We cannot lose them three years in a row. We just cannot do it. Let's go, boys. Times eight, putting the controller down. Hopefully the hockey gods are on our side. Six to one of the shots, but it doesn't matter because Gabriel Landeskog. I got four letters for you. S-T-U-D, stud, Landy, with a huge goal right in the slot. He puts us up one nothing. We get out of the first with a one nothing lead. Okay, now I can take a proper drink of water. Going into the second period, oh boy, everyone breathes. Everyone breathing, make sure everyone's breathing. Okay, power play for them, but it doesn't matter because that's Clem Costin dumping pucks all day, doing cool guy things, killing penalties, cool guy Russia things. All right, we're being outshot, but it's all good. Can we get one before the second period ends? No, going into the third with a one nothing lead. My anxiety level is to the roof. Oh boy, oh, Travis Konechny, you bastard, why? And then Oscar Lindbaum, are you joking me? Not like this, game, not like this. Hashtag not like this. Mitch Marner, someone, please score a goal. Please, for the love of God, score a goal. I don't care who it is. Freddie Gautier, just do something. Score a goal. No way, no how. No way, no how. No, no, no. This is the worst. <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. Come on, a minute, pull the goalie, do something, do something. Oh my God, we lose to the Philadelphia Flyers in game seven for the third year in a row and we aren't gonna win the Stanley Cup because this team is cursed. Oh fuck, what do we do? Jesus Christ. I was so close to throwing my controller through the wall and the Flyers win the frickin' Stanley Cup. Oh, this team is cursed. Well, the Islanders win the draft lottery, so that's great. That's fantastic. I don't care about the scout. I don't care about anything. We lose again in the freaking Eastern Conference Final to the playoff. Oh, god damn it. Spezza called it quits. Whatever. I hope you guys enjoy my pain and my suffering because this is at another level right now. Well, I said I didn't want the series to overlap with our Quebec franchise mode, but I think it's going to do that because my plan was to win. My plan was to win here. And for the third, let me tell you again, the third straight year, the Philadelphia Flyers beat us in this freaking Eastern Conference final. 
Oh, and they win the cup for the second straight year. Sorry, the second time in three years, but they've been to the Stanley Cup final three straight years. I don't think we took home any hardware. Just kidding, we took home the William M. Jennings. There you go, that's always nice. Uh, Moss wins the Jack Adams. Usually it would go, you would think it would go to us, but there you go. Kopitar, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tyler Sagan took home basically everything. You hate to see it once again. Well, I'm shocked, upset pissed off, confused, uh, angry. <laughs> what, what am I? What, do we just keep the same team and go for another crack at it and hopefully we don't meet the Flyers in the postseason? Like, what the hell do we do? Here's how everyone panned out in the postseason. I mean, uh, well, it is what it is, I guess, right? I don't think this was Grubauer's fault. I don't think he played that bad. I just think our offense wasn't what it was in the regular season. 66 wins and you don't win the Stanley Cup. Now, the big thing is, do we even have the necessary cap to bring the same team back for next year? Or do I even want to bring the same team back for next year? We're going to have $20 million in cap space. We're going to have to re-sign Timoshev, Andreas Janssen, Jesper Fast, Jeremy Brocko. All these guys are relatively cheap. So no big guys, which is nice. So, yeah, we don't have to re-sign anyone big, which is definitely a... Definitely something that's going to make it easier for year number five. But I said we have five years to do it. This is going to be going into year number five. I will see you guys in the next episode. I can't believe I'm saying this, but for the third straight year, let me tell you once again, the third straight year we lose out to the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh boy, I'll see you guys later.